much for tuning in to Tits and Giggles this week. Happy New Year. So I want to like just go over 2021 and just like leave some stuff in the past and not bring that bad energy into 2021. I have a top 10 list. Let's go right to the list. So um, the one thing that I want to leave in 2020 is bad bras. Because, you know, a lot of us was working from home. A lot of us didn't go out because of COVID. I'm not sure how 2021 is going to pick up. I don't know if we're going to have to wear bras this year. um, Because some of us are going back to the office, but a lot of us are still working from home. Don't bring bad bras to 2021. And I'm speaking particular towards us us big chested women because I had big boobs. But my pet peeve is when I see women who have huge boobs and they boobs look real bad because they wearing a bad bra. Like if you have huge boobs, they're bra. Sometimes you got to stick to those Playtex bras. Sometimes you got to stick to those grandma bras. Also, like when you wear a bad bra, um, sometimes you can get back fat y'all like you can get back fat. I remember when my grandmother was living one time she was just like um tuck your shirt in baby tuck your shirt I'm like grandma you're not pulling on my shirt that's my back fat that's that's straight back fat number two body shaming let's leave body shaming in 2020 because like so many people, I did a, I did episodes about Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Lizzo, Lizzo. We need to stop like hating on people's bodies. Like everybody has different body shape. You know, you can't hate on somebody because of how God created them. You need to talk to God. If you're so concerned with how somebody else is, you know, walking around their body shape and how they built, you need to be arguing with God because that's none of your business. How people, some people make like a box and that's perfectly fine. That's life. Because we're not perfect. No one is perfect. I want to leave in 2020 people, women not understanding other women. Uh, this is like a big pet peeve of mine, y'all. Like, um, like I'll tell my friends that don't have big boobs about my boobs and how I hate my boobs. And they'll kind of like disregard it. They'll just be like, well, I wish I had big boobs. I wish I had those curves, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to hear that because my back is hurting. My back, my body sore. I don't want to hear that. And then also I realized that um, sometimes us bigger chested ladies, you know, say we see a girl that doesn't have big boobs. We see a girl that's flat chested or don't have big boobs. And we may be like, girl, you can wear whatever. You can wear whatever clothes. We may hype them up. And sometimes we're uncomfortable. Number four, I want to leave people with daddy issues in 2020. Um, guys, I was watching The Bachelor. And none of the women on The Bachelor have boobs, which is kind of weird. It's just like, maybe that's his type. Maybe they just like asked him what was his type. And his type was no boobs because none of the girls have boobs. But they're all pretty girls or whatever. But this man got on the show. And the first thing he said was, um, you know, I have a dad in my life. And I wasn't thinking about, you know, I wasn't in serious relationships. I was having trouble being in serious relationships. And I'm like, why y'all got this man on the show? Like the first black bachelor, y'all got a man, y'all had to get a man with daddy issues. Y'all couldn't get a man. Y'all had, he low key kind of like Obama store a little bit. Cause you know, Obama grew up with his white mama. But the thing is y'all couldn't get nobody that grew up with their mama and their daddy. Like, you know, if you have daddy issues, seek therapy, seek help, because that's what's going to hinder your relationships with people. You know, I grew up with my dad. In my life, I had like a dude tell me that was really upset with me, kind of hated on me because my dad paid for my undergrad student loans. So I was just like, bruh, like, wouldn't you want a girl that has inherited wealth? Wouldn't you want a girl that doesn't have debt? Like, I just don't understand. Like, why are you so upset? And then he was telling me, oh, his dad was like a deadbeat daddy. Sir, that has nothing to do with me. You need to seek therapy. You need to like figure out that, you know, fight your daddy. Don't fight me, you know? And I low-key was tired of in Bridgerton on Netflix, the Duke and his daddy issues. Like, sir, just have the damn baby. We tired. We tired of your issues with your daddy. Yeah, your daddy was trifling. He was deadbeat. He was no good. But let that hurt go, bruh. Let it go. Because we was annoyed. Um having an execution without a plan. So a lot of people 
have like these I, these great ideas on what they're going to do and how they're going to do this stuff. And I have had experience, y'all. I have worked with people who got big talk games or whatever. And I have worked with like, I have friends that like have all these dreams, but they never actually do it. They never have a plan to do it. So like actually do it this year because it's just annoying having a friend that, that talks a lot of game, but doesn't actually do anything. Like, why don't they just be politicians? Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day. Um, not being cautious about your health in 2020. Like, cause I, Atlanta, look at Atlanta and Texas. The, look at all these COVID cases. People just don't care. And that is not cute. Like, make sure you're safe. Like, if you're going to go out and party, which I don't condone in crowded spaces, you better make sure you take a vitamin D, you take your zinc, you take your vitamin C, you take all that stuff. And then don't go out knowing that you got like health conditions. You're like, you got part, like if you, if you know you got high blood pressure, diabetes, um, you know, obesity, uh, all kind of immune disorders. Why are you going to the club partying and affecting everybody else? And then you want to be in the hospital? Like, come on now. Also, let's leave, uh, you know how we have these fit challenges every year, every new year. We're like, oh, we're going to get in shape. We're going to lose this weight. And then we never do it. Um, let's leave that in 2020. Let's actually do it in 2021. And my back is telling me, ma'am, you need to get your ass in the gym and lose this weight because your breast is hurting. And um, my breast is just like, I'm getting older. They ain't going to sit up like, you know, like this the rest of my life. And one thing that you do not want is to be 50 years old with boobs to your legs. Let's leave judgment in 2020. So I feel like people are very judgmental about people getting plastic surgery. And it's just like annoying. Like people, all I see is people hate on like Instagram models or it, and they're like, oh, their bodies all look the same. That's their choice. If they want to get plastic surgery, why are you so upset? Why are you concerned about what another woman is doing to her body? Like it, just, it makes no sense to me. A lot of women can feel insecure. Um, because they feel like they look on TV and they see like all these women with these curves with, you know, these, with celebrity men, with men of status. And they also want that lifestyle and they feel like, oh, well, you know, these men may not want me when like I see men dating regular looking females all the time. They may not be black, but I see... <laughs> And also, man, like when I see men that are concerned about a woman or hating on a girl or Instagram model, I'm just like, at the end of the day, y'all just mad because she will never look your way, period. And you probably don't get play from women. So let's leave not buying black owned stuff in 2021 and looking at designers that are not black over black designers. Um, it's so many great black designers out there. And I'm just tired of like seeing us on these freaking other designers jock and the stuff be ugly and they be charging y'all an arm and a leg. Like, can we just support our ugly? Uh, you can support ugly black owned stuff. I got a lot of friends that sell ugly, ugly black owned clothes and, and shoes and crop tops that I don't approve of. Uh, so, but, you know, I have maybe supported them throughout the years, you know, maybe bought one shirt and maybe gave the shirt to Goodwill, but at least I bought it. People in general not being able to express themselves, like in terms of anything, in terms of creativity, sexuality, how you look, like, you know, hair color, anything. I think that people should have the right to be who they are and express himself without people hating. Like we see, we look at celebrities all the time, like change their hairstyles. We see Rihanna. Rihanna had the Joe Exotica hair look going on. I love some Rihanna, but at the same time, I'm just like, I wasn't feeling the hair. But if a regular person is rocking that, y'all would be like hating on that person so hard. So like, or like even when you think of black girls with with like different bright hair colors people want to associate them with being ghetto or being like this when how come you can't just be a creative eccentric type of person human being you can't expect for you know diversity among everything if people are so like conservative when it comes to people expressing who they are